At this point, I'm going to assume that you have downloaded and installed WebStorm. Before we start creating projects in WebStorm, we're going to create a folder to hold all of the projects for this class. So I'm going to, in my documents, under my username on my computer, I'm going to create a new folder, which I'm going to call JavaScript. Once the folder is created, we can create new projects inside this folder, but when you're considering projects, our class is going to have many projects inside of it. Our class is not a project. If you treat the whole class as a project inside of WebStorm, it will cause problems when you're using GitHub. So just make a folder that we're then going to open from WebStorm. And as long as you know where it is, that's good with me. External drive, whatever you want to do. So now I'm going to go and choose File open. And I'm going to go into my documents. And I'm going to open my JavaScript folder and say OK. And I'll open it in this window. Now I have already created several JavaScript projects that I'm going to just copy and paste the code over because my assumption is that you can type and you don't want to watch me type because, well, that's just really boring. So I'm going to start by creating the first project that we're going to work on. And so I'm going to create a folder for it. So I'm going to choose New Directory. And I'm going to call it Initial, because that's just our initial assignment. And inside of that, I can choose New HTML File. And my file will always, my primary file will always be index. We will ultimately get into using external JavaScript files, but for the first file, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to um, type everything directly into our HTML file. And rather than watching me type through the magic of copy and paste, voila, the page is done. And you can see that I have all of the code in here, and we can go through a little bit of it. Um, if you want to... Okay, so I'm going to be in present, presentation mode, so you can just see my code. This lets you get it, see it larger. I'm not really going to focus on having the code in this because I have another video that does that. But I want you to notice that I am using an external set of libraries. I'm using the W3Schools. Let me leave presentation mode. So I'm using the W3Schools framework. So if you look at the W3Schools site, they have W3.CSS. That's the framework I'm using. It has a whole bunch of libraries and buttons, and it's going to speed my development. You do not have to use that, but if you want to follow along with what I'm doing, all the information is right out there at w3.css. And it's a great template, and it's easy to use, and it makes everything nice and pretty. So I'm linking that, and then I override my style sheets here. This should be familiar to you. You should have taken Web Fundamentals before this or be familiar with HTML. So one of the things that's really good that I like about WebStorm is that not only can you test it, you can test it in multiple browsers. So this is our first assignment. And you can see that I can launch it, and it'll launch it in a real browser. And everything works here so that I can test. And that's very useful. The other thing that you'll notice is that you get these little yellow lines. Um, that's going to give you, here I'm getting an error because I didn't copy the styles over. I do have a style sheet in my other uh, project that I'm working on. So you'd want to, if you were going to have styles, you do File, New, Style Sheet, styles.css, 
OK. And then when I'm back here, that error is gone. So anytime you see this, you see a warning. Some of these warnings I will let go because th this is the way that I've been programming forever. Um, or I will go back and fix them. Warnings you don't have to fix, and I'm sort of following the directions on w3schools.css, but this will tell you you have a warning. So if I wanted to fix the warning, it would be new date, and then here I have another warning. Let me just make sure that's still working. So now I've got a typo. So in any case, you can go through and you can fix those. It doesn't like, so yeah, it doesn't like the new date thing. We'll leave it. It works. Um, if there's no errors at all, it'll be green here. Some things, there are style errors that still work. Sometimes I care, sometimes I don't. But for this first one, you'll see that everything is pretty much working and you can test it. And you also get to click on different areas and it lets you collapse code and it's a really useful editor. And the thing is it does, it's a really proactive JavaScript editor because it flags every warning as well as actual errors. So that's why I like to use the WebStorm editor. So I'm going to ask you to um, create a, just even an HTML file, something for practice. I'm going to shut this video down and in the next video you're going to actually do the work of the first program which is the one that you see demoed here and then I'll show you how to <clears throat> set up your FTP settings to up 